Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl, Tina. I hope you guys are doing good today. So I want to come on here and talk about the whole Nicki Minaj situation, honey. So if you guys do not know, Nicki Minaj is currently getting drugged all over social media. A lot of people are really mad about her Elle magazine interview. So recently, she did a photo shoot for Elle magazine, and she looked gorgeous on the cover. She looked beautiful. But in the magazine, she said a lot of controversial things. She was telling women to close their legs. Um, she was talking about IG models. She literally went in. I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys a snippet of what Nicki Minaj said to Elle magazine. Go ahead and check this out. So Nicki Minaj says, I love being sexy and I'm never going to stop being an exhibitionist. Then she goes on to say, it's okay to keep your legs closed. I don't really know how to say it without being offensive. Maybe I was naive, but I didn't realize how many girls were modern day prostitutes. Rather you're a stripper or rather you're an Instagram girl, these girls are so beautiful and they have so much to offer, but I started finding out that if you give them a couple thousand dollars, you can have sex with them. And I was like, yikes, it's sad that they don't know their worth. It makes me sad as a woman and it makes me sad that maybe I contributed to this in some way. Honey. Anyways, I don't even know where to start with this foolishness, okay? Right message, wrong damn messenger, okay? This is my issue with Nicki Minaj. Obviously, Cardi B really has this girl pressed. And I don't care what you barbs say. Y'all can be like, it's not about Cardi. It is about Cardi. She knows Cardi B started on Instagram. She's a proud fucking stripper. She's pregnant now. She represents that ratchet ass, you know, thought culture proudly. I've always spoken about that. You know what I'm saying? And Nikki's definitely feeling some type of way. So now she's trying to switch up her persona and become more, you know, classy and demure. Like, I understand what she's saying and I agree with what she's saying. But like I said, Ron Messenger. It comes off as not only hypocritical, but you damn well better not say maybe because you know damn well you contributed to that culture, okay? Let's keep it all the way real. This woman's name is Nicki Minaj, okay? It comes from Minaj et toi, okay? So on top of your name being Nicki Minaj, there's no difference in the pictures that Nicki Minaj posts on Instagram and what these regular Schmegler girls post on Instagram as well. A lot of times Nicki will post stuff on Instagram and then people try to emulate her, okay? So for her to try and act innocent now and for her to be like, you know, just close your legs, these girls are sleeping with guys for money, what the hell did you think was happening? I mean, to me, I just don't even feel like she's really elevated. If I go back and I look at pictures that Nicki Minaj posted back in like 2013, 2014, and then we look at her now in 2018, it's the same thing. She's just thicker and she's starting to look like Kay Michelle in the damn thighs and hips. But besides that, it's the same thing. She's still selling sex. Even in her latest song, Rich Sex, what is she telling young girls? She's telling them to only have sex with the nigga that can give you the bag, with the dude that has money. Don't fuck with no broke guys. In the same breath, you're trying to shame Instagram models for sleeping with rich men. But in your music, you have a song called Rich Sex with Lil Wayne. And you're shaming girls if they're not sleeping with guys who are ballers and who have money. It ain't such a thing as broken handsome. Rich sex. If you let that broke nigga fuck, we tellin'. Rich sex. If you let that broke nigga fuck, we tellin'. Rich sex. So, like I said, her whole persona is problematic. This whole interview is problematic because she's not making sense. And that's what I get tired of because when regular schmegler women like me say the same thing, we're hating. We're jealous, we're bitter, we're angry. But then when these celebrities get rich off of perpetuating the bullshit, okay? Because let's keep it real. She perpetuated the over-sexualization of women, okay? Her body and everything else. A lot of women ran to go get bottom basement butt injections to look like Nicki Minaj, okay? Including women like Cardi B who looked up to her. So people went to go get their bodies done and, you know, had these Instagram personas based off of Nicki Minaj's body type and all types of things. And now she wants to play coy like, well, maybe I contributed to that. Uh, wrong again, bitch. There's no maybe. You did contribute to that, okay? So own up to that. You very much contributed to that. But it's funny that your music is saying one thing, but now in this interview, you're preaching something totally different. Even in the new song with Ariana Grande, It's about sex and she's twerking in the pool with Ariana. Waiting for you on some thousand dollar sheets. I got caught the three on repeat. Back shots to 
You know what I'm saying? So it's funny that you can use sex to sell your albums, to entice people, but then in the same breath, you want to shame folks for taking that same route. In her music, not only she always talking about her damn pussy and how everybody wants to fuck her, then on top of that, when you see her album art, her legs are always spread open. In her latest album art, you know, she barely has anything covering her. Her titties are everywhere, but then you want to shame these Instagram models. And you can say, okay, well, she's just showing the image of sex. It's not the same as sleeping with somebody. Somebody. And yes, that's different, but still, you're still putting something out there. You're still putting a certain energy out there. And a lot of women look up to Nicki Minaj. A lot of young girls look up to Nicki Minaj. So to me, her saying this is very problematic. I do feel like not only was that shade at other Instagram models, but it was definitely shade at Cardi B because Cardi B represents that thought culture and she makes no apologies for who she is. Like, I know I look ugly and shit, but it's cool though. Like, it's like, I don't gotta impress y'all. Like, I be fucking my man like this. I be fucking my man sometimes with this with a cap on like this because my wig be coming off. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like my wig be coming off, and then he just be trying to pull my shit, my shit. He be killing my shit from the back, and then my shit be coming off, and then I be turning around and look at him like this. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and then he just be like, "Well, bitch, what?" So in my personal opinion, Nicki Minaj comes off as very, very hypocritical, and that's why the internet is currently dragging her. I want you guys to go ahead and check out these tweets, these comments, and what folks have to say. Check this out, and I'm going to come back with the rest of my commentary. All right, you guys, so I hope you guys are still sipping on that tea because I got some extra hot tea for you guys, okay? So while Nicki Minaj was getting drug all over social media yesterday, I had noticed her and Jerome Trammell were getting into it. So after Nicki got drugged, she took to social media and she said the following, a woman can be a freak with her man, fit explicit lyrics and an exhibitionist, love freaky girl talk with her girlfriends, require men to treat her like a queen, etc. None of that equates to selling pussy. Now pop my dick out your mouth. The Nikki hate train has left the building. So that was her response to everybody dragging her. So then Jerome Trammell, he basically responded back to her. And he says, Dear Nicki Minaj, your lyrics are hypocritical. You went over to Elle magazine to slut shame a certain type of woman because that wasn't your route allegedly. People need to stop trying to dictate and police women in their bodies. If you can't help, don't hurt at Nicki Minaj. And then he went on to quote some of her lyrics. Um, like it's a holiday, play with the pussy day. He tossed my salad. His name is Romaine. And when we done, I make him buy me Balmain. Money can't fit the clips. I tell these hoes when they strip that they can play with my clit. Now we sip and scissor, pour it down my ass and let them drink the blizzard. So then he went on to like, you know, post a few other things. I want you guys to go ahead and check out what else Jerome posted. And then I'll show you guys Nicki Minaj's response.
All right, so you guys just saw the responses of him and Nikki going back and forth. Then it got really heated is when she got her barbs involved, okay? So one of her barbs hit her up, and they're like, at Nikki, can I go beat him up? And then Nicki Minaj, being immature as hell, she ends up responding, yes, barbs, go drag that nigga like he stole something. So then all her barbs went crazy, like, yes, queen, I'm about to tear that ass up. So while her barbs were dragging him, she was retweeting little things that her barbs were saying, like, you mad doggy at Mr. Jerome Trammell and all this other stuff so Jerome ended up taking to social media a few hours later and basically he says I'm a pop culture commentator I critique music videos articles and anything else their opinions to be harassed bullied and threatened due to a celebrity inciting violence with over 150 million followers across her social media pages and telling them to beat me is wrong period and then he also goes on to say Please recommend a great lawyer. I'm getting bullied and told to die, kill myself. People saying they're going to find me and kill me, etc. My phone number, family's addresses, and more have been put all over the internet. I will not stand for this because someone directed them to do this. And then he said today, facts. I don't care how much money and power one has or even how many supporters a person has. I will not be bullied into silence. I will take legal action against the person who incited the violence, the threat, and the mass harassment. Critique of an article does not justify crimes. Honey, when I tell you he is not playing right now, this whole situation is a mess and this is all because somebody disagreed with what Nicki Minaj said in the article and you know, bullying is wrong. You guys have seen me go through through it you know with people not agreeing with my opinions on youtube i received death threats i've been doxxed i've been through hell on social media for simply having an opinion and nikki was all the way wrong in this you know what i'm saying she should have just allowed people to have their opinions and left it at that if she was proud of her magazine interview then there was no reason to defend anything she could have just kept on going with her life but the fact that she chose to go back and forth with him and told her barbs to whoop his ass that was so uncalled for all right, so you guys just saw the tweets, the comments, and what folks had to say. So like I said, Nicki Minaj is coming out very hypocritical. Her stance makes no sense whatsoever. At the end of the day, a lot of these Instagram models and Instagram thoughts, these are young women in their 20s literally trying to find their way. And if these girls feel like they can get more money on Instagram showing their ass, shaking their ass, and turning tricks than working a 9 to 5, they're going to do that. You know what I'm saying? And when you put out music like Rich Sex, where you're telling young girls to only fuck guys with money, then that doesn't make any sense when you're telling girls in the same breath to close your legs and to not prostitute yourself. So like I said, her stance is very problematic. And my thing is with her being a more established artist, she's now in her mid thirties, okay? She's a grown woman. She doesn't even have to do all this. She doesn't even have to do all this. She doesn't have to carry herself this way. Let's not forget her paper magazine where she did the whole, you know, trio, the menage thing. And I thought that cover was so disgusting, tacky and beneath her. And she did not need to do that. You know what I'm saying? You're above that. But it's funny that she can keep perpetuating this bullshit and then the same breath wanting to speak against it. You know, and that's what irritates me with these celebrities is that, you know, they can perpetuate the nonsense, get the money from the nonsense. And then once they get the money, now they see the error of their ways. Now now, well, maybe I contributed to this. Just like with all these male rappers, with the thugging, the gang banging, you know, all the violence in their music, all the bullshit that they perpetuated, like Snoop Dogg, Lil Wayne, and a bunch of other rappers. But then, you know, now that they got money, now that they're older, now that they're established, now all of a sudden they're woke. You know what I'm saying? Now all of a sudden they want to preach to the choir. I'm not buying none of that shit because if you can't come into the game with morals and integrity from day one, don't sit there and perpetuate some bullshit. And then once you get your bag, once you're established, once you're famous, now you want to preach to the choir. I'm not buying it. You know what I'm saying? Either you stand on your square and you stand on your integrity from day one when you come out the gate or miss me with the bullshit. And that's how I feel about the situation. OK, there's nothing wrong with being sexy. There's nothing wrong. You know what I'm saying? We're wearing sexy outfits. My top is sexy, but it's about how you carry yourself. You I'm saying and we need to start promoting to young girls that you can get that bag and you can get money and you can live nice without having to turn tricks on Instagram without having to show it all off you can dress sexy and still be classy you know what I'm saying I can put on a skin tight dress and I don't have to be bent over and shaking my ass and twerking and doing all that ratchet shit that we see on social media but it's because of rappers like Nicki Minaj Cardi B and all these other female rappers you know what I'm saying it's because of the message that they put in their music that a lot of young 
young girls are thinking that's how they have to carry themselves and that's how they can come up. That's how they can get attention. That's how they can get money. So miss me with the bullshit, Nikki. I'm not buying it whatsoever because she's saying one thing in this magazine, but her past music and her current music that she's still releasing is saying something totally different. Even the pictures that she's still currently releasing of herself in 2018 is saying something different than what she said in that magazine. And if you want to warn young girls and tell them to close their legs and tell them to not be, you know, Instagram thoughts and prostitutes, that's great. But also make sure while you're warning them about that, also warn them about pedophiles. Also warn them to be careful. You know what I'm saying? Also warn women about the men that they bring into their homes because they could be molesting their daughters. Let's also warn them about that. Anyways, I'm not here for none of that Nicki Minaj bullshit preaching to the choir. That bullshit went in one ear and out the other. Like I said, right message, wrong messenger. Anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Nicki Minaj. Do you guys agree with her stance? Do you feel like her message is correct, but she's the wrong messenger to relay that message? And then also, do you feel like it's hypocritical of her to sit there and try and talk down to these women, but yet and still she perpetuates the same type of culture in her music, in her photos, and everything else? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.